What's going on guys? Alex Burkus here in the garage. Trailer fits. So there is all of it. Got the skag. Forty eight inch. Uh hydrostatic. 15 horsepower Cali blower Echo PB500T. And I'll tell you about all this equipment when I'm done, what I paid for it, all that good stuff. Chainsaw the Echo is it 230? Uh, Echo HC 180 Toro 21 inch 6.5 horsepower mower. And then behind that is a Craftsman blower, as you saw in my other video. Um, so, yeah, so let's go through just, you know, miscellaneous tools and everything. Um, So this stuff is what I use when I mulch, um, charge a little bit extra, lay this down, it's a weed preventer, it's a barrier, so that's always good, um, kind of sells the kind a little bit, what else do we have, the Craftsman Snowblower, two stroke, so, um, all right, so, uh, oh, and then Big Tex A35 S A, um, story behind that, story behind everything, actually, um, and, you know, wheelbarrow, I got that in the truck, just came from a job, um, Safety cones, ramps for uh, for the truck, yeah, you know, miscellaneous stuff hanging up and kind of just laying in the trailer. Um, so I'll go with what I have first, how I got the stuff and everything like that. So the mower, 41, 48 inch hydrostatic. Um, not in too bad condition. Came with the sulky. Um, needed new wheels. Yeah, the front are bowed up pretty well. So, um, got that one off Craigslist for. I think I was asking one one grand for it, and I ended up giving them. Uh, 700 started off at 500 because of the wheels you know I thought 250 for the wheels they're pretty expensive wheels um, originally when I went to it I thought it was a a belt driven one but evidently it wasn't um, so what we ended up with uh, that was the first piece of equipment I got I was originally cutting lawns with this Toro 21 inch and uh, had a Craftsman four-stroke weed eater and a Craftsman four-stroke backpack blower of my dad's. So that 48-inch was the first one, first piece of equipment I got. Uh, trailer did around in my dad's avalanche with those ramps and, you know, wasn't too bad. Then after that, you know, did a lot of mulching jobs, hauled, hauled a yard and a half of mulch in that avalanche. Um... And then some guy I work with at the golf course had his own landscaping business at one point and um, had that Echo HC 180 that he got from a dealer that was going out of business and he bought all of his, his stuff. So he got that real cheap, sold it to me um, for $150, brand new, never been run, last year's model. How could you pass that up? There, you know, the 280 in the store, got it for 150 um, got that next piece of equipment I got, 
Yeah, I took a break for the rest of the year. Um, and then now, about two weeks ago, I got this Echo 233. Um, the story behind that is I went, went over to Home Depot to look at uh, material for stone for, for one of my clients. And um, I was walking back there, and it was outside. It said reconditioned. Well, that's how we got our 21-inch Toro. Um, it's a three hundred dollar mower, I think, and I think we got it for like a hundred and fifty or something like that. So this thing said one hundred and ninety eight originally, two ninety eight. So you know, it's a pretty good deal. You know, I was looking to get a new one. Um, so we went ahead and I, and I asked him. I said, uh, "Can you take any more off of it?" He said, "No." He says usually that's marked down to the lowest. He said, "But we are running a twenty percent off deal." Uh, so you know, twenty percent off one hundred and ninety eight. So, did the math, you know, that's kind of what I wanted to pay around, and then uh, went back the next day, and it was raining. So, went over, asked him again, he said, you got to speak to the store manager. So, I went up to the front desk, and this lady called the store manager, she says, boy here wants, wants to buy the weed eater out there, um, would you be able to take another $20 off of it? So, the store manager said yes, so, went out and got it, and uh, brought it up. She rung it up, rang up $140, and I said, well, I still get the 20% off and then $20, right? She goes, yeah. I ended up getting it for $98. Reconditioned, you know, looks like it was used once. Um, so $20 basically paid for the line. Um, you know, I got the big spool. Probably will never go through that, you know, in, in four years. Um, then after that, about told my friend, you know, got it and how much I paid and he was amazed and so he went over to his Home Depot and looked and uh just so happens there was a backpack blower. You know, normally it was like three hundred and some dollar backpack blower and they marked it down to they marked it down to hundred and eighty. And I you know, I tried to pull the same card again, you know. I said, Well are you in my store, my Home Depot and where I live gave me a 20% off. He says, well, normally that's store by store. He said the best we could do was like 10 bucks or something. I'm like, really, that's it? He goes, well, what would you have to be at to buy it? I said, well, 20% off would be, I think I said like 130. I said, could you do 140? He goes, whatever it takes to let you buy this today. So, got it for 140. Um, mosquito. So that that's the story behind all that. Um, the story behind this trailer. Beginning of this year, when I first started getting into this real hardcore, um, I asked my friend, I was told my friend, you know, I'm looking for a trailer. He goes, well, my dad might have one. So he asked his dad. His dad said it wasn't titled. Um, I'm like, okay, I'll do the title work. We've done it before. Um, so this, this, this deal was in the process for the longest time. Um, it was always on his part, you know. Yeah, I got asked my dad to get the title, blah, blah, blah. I'll ask him, you know, our friend got it, blah, 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 blah. Just beating around the bush. So, I ended up going into, not partnership, but, you know, he, he'd always help me out on some of these bigger jobs. A real hard worker, you know, dedicated. Uh, have him help me again and again. Better than my other friend who, you know, had to stop asking me for help because he was doing shitty work for me. Um, I thought the pay was good. So, uh, anyway, the family friend ended up coming through with the title, signed it over to me, cost me like $300 just to get it, you know, inspected and tax tags and titles, and I took it to a third party, uh, titler, um, so I didn't have to wait in the MVA line and do all that bullshit, but, anyway, um, you know, made enough money this year to pay for all this. Um, you know, I'll still end up with a profit. Um, 700, 140, 150, 98, and say 500 for the trailer. And, you know, that's not even close for uh, what it should cost. I got all this stuff very cheap. Um, I waited for it was on sale. Made smart money decisions. Um, 
you know, you just can't make all your money and go out and spend it like Sherman does. Um, you know, I, personally, I think Sherman's in it just for the fun. You know, I'll make this money and I'll go out and spend it. He's just in it for the game. He's he's just the kid having have fun, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, um, just make smart decisions. You know, just little by little acquire stuff. You don't have to go out buy a double axle trailer, two zero turns, a trimmer rack, three edgers, three backpack blowers, just in case your back your 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 backup breaks down and you have a backup for your backup. You know, one blower is fine. And then you know, always ask your friends. Or your dad, you know, to borrow his blower. Um, just little by little. So, that's how I started. Um, didn't actually get to use the trailer for mulch this year. I was kind of bummed about it, but the trailer doesn't have as open sides. So, next year I'm going to fabricate something, put a piece of wood in there, um, pressure treated wood. And just get those U-bolt clamps that has a metal U. And then it has a piece of bar in the back with two bolts on the end. You just tighten them up and I'll just throw them on here. Make them money. Simple fix. Um, maybe get a toolbox up front. And a uh, might try to make some trimmer racks. Need another trimmer for a trimmer rack. I only have one, so it would be trimmer. Um, that's about it. Hopefully, go in partnership with that one guy who I bought the trailer from. Um, you know, he has, where up where he lives, he has four acre lots. So, get two ch cheaper zero turns. Um, probably go with another Skag. I love this thing. It stripes amazingly. Um, might have to tweak it around. It's not going as fast as it should in reverse or forward. Um, but, you know, the thing starts up second pool choke on. It, it's a champ. I recommend that mower. Um, but that's how I started. Next year plans, like I said, um, maybe run two zero turns if if we get the client base. I'm um, gonna do some advertising, some uh, what do you call it? Flyers in the mail. Uh, walk around handing those out. I think the best thing going for me and 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 for my company right now is that I'm younger. Um, people like to see that the younger people getting involved, wanting to go work out, make the money um, instead of just giving it, being given to it. Um, so do that. Maybe go door to door. Some of them, it's, you know, if they're not home, just leave it on their door. I know putting it in the mailbox is illegal, but. Um, and, you know, get some business cards printed up, get some flyers printed up, and I got a, my friend's grandfather's into that business, so I'll, hopefully I'll get them real cheap. But that's my plan for next year. Maybe run two zero turns or a zero turn and a rider, um, one of those V rides or a Great Dane or a, um, something like that. Uh, let me know, you know, if you have those, why you'd rather prefer that over a zero turn or something like that. But that's where we're at right now. Um, can't wait for next year. Business slows down a lot. Um, just built a retaining wall. Didn't turn out as well as uh, I'd hope. But, you know, it's sturdy. Um, you learn from it. Learn not to use the Home Depot block. Um, focus more on leveling that first layer. That's the most important layer. Um, and just tape your work off when you work in the city. Because somebody's just going to come over and push it. Take it out of alignment by that much and it's going to fuck up your final result so but lady understood who I did it for lady understood you know it's my first one and I did it real cheap so basically had enough money to pay for my help pay for you know the gas she paid for material and um you know make a little bit on the side but you know it was mainly experience I don't for a first wall it didn't turn out too bad but yeah, that's the plans for next year. Um, I'm not sure what you guys use for invoices. I know some people write them up, and uh, some people have uh, an app. Let me show you the app that I use. It's called 
invoice ASAP. Um, it's a free software. It's free software you download. It's on iPhone. I'm not sure about Droid or anything like that. And what I like about it is it, it takes all your invoice. You can tell whether they paid. You can write the check number down. Um, anything like that. That's what it, that's what it looks like, and you have invoice estimates, and you can do all of those. Um, let me hide some of these names. Um, but and it gives you them, and for the year, this is mainly for the year. Um, it tells you whether the, the account's been, you know, what account's open or it's been paid. If it says paid, um, it'll have a paid symbol at it, and you can write down whether they paid cash, credit, check, um, and it'll give you an invoice number. Um, yeah, you can choose to edit it. Copy, send, print, preview, edit, delete, pay now. I highly recommend this app, and um, it gives you a annual report. Um, so it tells you payment status, how many paid in cash, how many paid in check, um, and then it gives you a a year. It gives you a total amount of what you made, which I really like. Um, but there is no way to put in, you know, what you bought. Like you bought a weed eater, so that was ninety-eight dollars. That doesn't take it out of your total. Um, so it would have been cool if they had that. I guess you could just put it as a, I don't know. So that's what I use, and every time I mow a lawn, um, it gives you the option to save. Uh, item. So say I mow Joe Schmo. Um, I'll put mowing and then his last initial. Uh, sometimes that doesn't work out because you may have clients that overlap. But and then you put your unit price and then every time you mow, you mow, you write down the date that you mowed, and then the how many times you mowed. So you know, say I mowed the first and the third. On the third, I would write down. Um, go in it, I'd edit it, and I would say 1, comma, 3, and then I would move my unit price to 2. Um, you know, it takes all the math out of it. All you have to do is go on your computer and print it. It's on the computer. You can go through your computer, too. So, but you have to have internet for it. Uh, that's the easiest way I've found. Um, if you guys have any questions, I mean, this is basically what I've done all this year. Found all this stuff out. Um, got poison ivy about a hundred times but this is basically a yearly video recap um i'm going away to college on friday so i'll be i have enough clients to where i can come home a weekend and mow it's just a matter of getting home um my mom's not gonna let me have a car for the first semester so we have to find some way i have my friend covering for me if i can't make it home for a week uh showed him the house as i mow show him how i want to mow it that's about it. Um, all in all, basically this was my first year starting out as a landscaper. Um, I've done side work and everything like that, you know, the past couple of years. But this was the first year that I went out and wanted to go get jobs and, and, and made a step forward to it. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of what I did. Uh, I've, I've made enough money to where if I want to buy a mower next year, I can without spending any of my saved money. It will be all from, you know, just recycled money from the company. And hopefully, you know, next year we get the client base to where we can run two zero turns. Um, hopefully they fit on that single axle trailer. I'm thinking of turning them sideways instead of going straight on. But hopefully, you know, we have the client base to where we can run two and make money. Um, it's just on all if. Um, 
but you, nothing's going to get handed to you. You got to go out and get it. Got to go out and get your own jobs. Um, and just do quality work. You know, just go the extra step. Even if it's a little bit more expensive and you're not getting paid, you know, what you should, just go that extra step and, you know, people take note of it. Um, if you guys have any questions about pricing or anything like that, let me know. Uh, the area I live in is a little bit higher priced, um, so that's good for me. Uh, it's a little bit classier development, so, you know, prices are a little bit steeper. Um, and, you know, I try not to take jobs that are 45 minutes away. You know, sometimes I have to. You know, the retaining wall was a half hour away. I wasted a quarter tank of gas, basically, in two days. Um, towing that trailer with, you know, maybe close to 2,000 pounds of stone. Uh, it was a lot. Trailer was a dog. Um, but that's my yearly recap. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything. I'll do a review on anything out there. Just let me know. I know, you know, there's hundreds of weed whacking videos and hundreds of blower video. Might make one for the skag and how I use it and how I get the best results out of it. Um, but that's about it. Really can't wait for next year and, and see what that has in store for us. Um, gonna file for a business license and uh, see where that takes us. So, all right, guys, let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, hopefully, I'll be making another video soon. Um, might make a full video of me mowing or something like that. Just let me know what you want to think. Yeah, think. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, my viewpoint on anything, but. Like I said, go out and mow some grass, you know. Make some money. Don't be like the fat kid playing Xbox. <laughs> Even though that's easier. But good luck, guys. Wish you guys well. All right. Rate, comment, subscribe.